Hi dear students, myself Shankar and welcome to OM Institute. I have managed to collect all the control system questions from our revision batch students. In this short video, I will just explain all the questions and also tell you the final answers for the benefit of all the students who have taken the exam. The complete question paper with answer keys already been uploaded on our website. You may want to take a look at it. Now let's discuss the control system questions from GATE 2020 electrical engineering paper. Now you can see the question from control systems. This is for one mark. One linear time invariant system is given. Here R of t is input and Y is the output. We need to find out for this system the location of the poles. Suppose if you write Laplace transform on both sides, then we will get S square plus 4 into Y of S is equal to 6 into R of S. Therefore, the transfer function is Y of S divided by R of S is equal to 6 by S square plus 4 and hence the location of the poles are at plus or minus 2j that is the answer. There is a, another one mark question you can see the question on the screen for this question one signal flow graph is given and from the four options we need to identify which of these four options will have an equivalent transfer function with the given signal flow graph. Now from this signal flow graph, first you can identify the forward path. There is only one forward path whose gain is A into D. Next, loops. First let us write individual loops. There is one loop here that is a CD and the second loop A D E and there are two there are no non touching loops therefore transfer function we can write it as C of S divided by R of S is equal to M1 divided by 1 minus L1 plus L2 in bracket. Therefore, by substituting these values, we can write AD divided by 1 minus D into C plus AE. This is the transfer function for the original signal flow graph. Now, just by observing we can identify here this transfer function will match with option C that is the answer. Now you can see the question on the screen this question is based on the Nyquist plot there is a negative unity feedback system <coughs> with forward path transfer function is G of S is equal to K by S plus A into S minus B into S plus C where K, A, B, C are positive real numbers and it is mentioned that the Nyquist plot enclosing the entire imaginary axis and the right half of S plane in clockwise and also mentioned that the Nyquist plot of 1 plus G of S encircles the origin of 1 plus G plane once in the clockwise direction and never passes through this origin for a certain value of k. Therefore, from the open loop transfer function, we can identify that p is equal to 1. Here what is p? The number of poles in the right half of the S plane. And based on 1 plus g encircles the origin once in clockwise direction. That means n is equal to minus 1 <coughs> and here the number of encirclements n is equal to p minus z 
this is this n is encirclement of origin where 1 plus g of s plane encircles the origin okay that is given as minus 1 is equal to 1 minus z now what is the question the number of poles of g of s by 1 plus g of s lying in the right half of s plane that means z is equal to 2 so for this question answer is 2 you can see another 2 marks question on the screen in this question a negative unity feedback system with the forward path transfer function is given that is g of s is equal to s square plus s plus 1 upon s cube plus 2s square plus 2s plus k where k is positive real number now we need to find the value of k for which the system will have some some of its poles on the imaginary axis therefore first we need to find the closed loop transfer function from then we need to find a characteristic equation what is the closed loop transfer function here g of s by 1 plus g of s because it is mentioned that unity feedback system so this transfer function we can get it as <coughs> s square plus s plus 1 divided by s cube plus 3 s square plus 3 s plus k plus 1 <coughs> now after this we need to form route array so what are the route array elements s power 3 row 1 and 3 <coughs> s power 2 row 3 and k plus 1 s power 1 9 minus k minus 1 divided by k <coughs> and the last element is s power 0 that is k plus 1 so for sum of its poles on the imaginary axis that is possible when there is even polynomial as a common root so that is possible when 9 minus k minus 1 is equal to 0 from this we will get k value is equal to 8 so answer is 8 now there is another 2 marks question you can see it on the screen a PMDC motor which is initially at rest at t is equal to 0 a DC voltage of 5 volt is applied to the motor its speed monotonically increases from 0 radians per second to 6.32 radians second in 0 0.5 second and finally settle down to 10 radians per second. So here on y axis it is a speed and on x axis time in second. <coughs> from the given data in 0.5 second the speed is reached to 6.32 here what we need to understand <coughs> this is a 63.2 percent of the final value what is the final value 10 that is a steady state value assume inductance of the armature is negligible now we need to find out the transfer function of the motor so from this graph we can easily identify DC motor transfer function <coughs> can be approximated with a first order transfer function k by s into t plus 1. Now for this the input voltage is 5 volt therefore you can consider a step volt because at t is equal to 0 a DC voltage of 5 volt is applied. So we can take input r of t is equal to 5 into u of t <coughs> where u of t is a step representation and we can take speed omega of s therefore if you write down the transfer function here omega s by r of s is equal to <coughs> k by s t plus 1 now from this omega s will be 5 by s 
multiplied with k by st plus 1. <coughs> Now from the response we can identify that the time taken for the response to reach 63.2% of the final value is 0.5 second. Therefore time constant is given as 0.5. Now from this transfer function if you write Laplace transform solution <coughs> this is equal to 5k into 1 minus e power minus t by tau therefore the steady state value here is 5k but from the response the steady state value is uh, 10 and hence k value will be around 2 therefore finally the transfer function is k by st plus 1 so 2 by t is 0 0.5 into s plus 1 <coughs> this is the answer now you can see another uh, two marks question on the screen a stable real linear time invariant system with a single pole at p has a transfer function h of s is equal to s square plus 100 <coughs> divided by s minus p with the dc gain of five now we need to calculate the smallest positive frequency in radian per second when the gain is unity therefore first from the given transfer function let us find out dc gain by substituting s is equal to 0 so what we will get h of s when s is equal to 0 is equal to 100 by minus p this value is given as 5 in the data therefore we will get p is equal to minus 20 and hence the original transfer function can be written as s square plus 100 divided by s plus 20 now by using this transfer function we can calculate the smallest positive frequency when the gain is unity so what is the gain of this mod h of s is equal to by replacing s with j omega s with j omega then it is 100 minus omega square divided by root of 20 square plus omega square is equal to 1 so if you square it on both sides then what we will get 100 minus omega square is equal to root of 20 square plus omega square so by squaring it on both sides 100 minus omega square total whole square right hand side 400 plus omega square now we will have a quadratic equation in terms of omega power 4 by solving this equation we will get omega square is equal to 78.13 and from then omega is equal to root of 78.13 so this is the required frequency and it will matches with the option a which is 8.84 radian per second this is the answer